Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. I was so blessed to get to watch this competition in person. Uh, I'm excited to have Junie Boyer on the show. She is Ms. Corporate America 2022. It was a fun, fascinating, amazing evening. I watched her get crowned. It was such an honor. And we're going to hear her story. Welcome, Junie. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Ted. Thank you so much for having me. Super excited to be on with you today. Well, you look, thank you. You look amazing. You got to love a crown. Ted Bogert's never met a crown he doesn't like. I'm a crazy crown wearing dude at any kind of event, but it looks so much better on you and oh. well earned, well deserved. Uh, but before we get into that, obviously, I told you before we went live that the audience loves an origin story, so they want to get to know Junie. So give us a little background on you, kind of. Um, what you were doing growing up, uh, what you wanted to do with your life, and how you got to Ms. Corporate America 2022. Definitely. Where do I start? Oh my God. <laughs> well, it's my name is Junie. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> my name is Junie Boyer, as Ted stated, and I was uh, born in Evanston, Illinois. Um, I was raised in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And uh, I uh, was raised by both my parents, Carrie Dad Boyer and Julian Boyer. Um, and I have one sibling, her name is Judith Boyer. And so growing up, um, I grew up in the faith-based uh, culture, so to speak. Um, so I grew up in church, um, right? So I know a lot of times you, you're young and you know your parents force you to go to church and it's not something that you really care for, but I actually loved it. I love everything that my faith, Christianity represents. Um, I love people. And so from a young age, I just knew that I had ministry in me. What does that mean, right? Ministry is simply serving others. And so for me, although at that age, I wasn't really aware of what that, you know, uh, what it all compiled, right? Um, but uh, growing up, getting to know myself, going through the challenges of middle school, high school, like any normal youngster, right? Um, trying to find self, understanding, you know, that I did have low self-esteem, understanding that I was different than the other ones around me. And so finally, I tapped into who Junie was. And what does that consist of? Well, that consists of somebody that truly loves people, somebody that understands that perfection is not what we uh, try to uh, strive to be, right? Because nobody can be perfect. Um, but just daily striving to be better than we were the next day. Um, or the day before, I should say. And so for me, um, I was in high school and I was super active uh, in different clubs. I was always the leader, the one that liked to start different endeavors. Um, I was a go-getter. I was a people's person. Um, I love meeting strangers. So I would sit next to somebody in class, first day of school, and I would start talking, right? Um, and although I'm saying all those great things, I'm actually an introvert, <laughs> believe it or not. Are you really? I, I, I'm an introvert, but nobody believes me. I'm an introvert and I'm a homebody, but social media tells a different story. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, so let's talk a little bit about that. And then I want to talk about for her perspective and we'll, we'll talk about the competition. Is it a, there are a lot of introverts who appear to be extroverted. Um, is it something that you learned how to do because being introverted was limiting you? How did you get out of that? Because when I most people, when they think of an introvert, they can think of somebody who doesn't like to socialize, who um, isn't necessarily the one who goes to a party that would never speak, that God forbid would never be part of a competition where they were a crowned Miss Corporate America 2022. Mm -hmm. So how did you break out of that? How do you cope with that? But I think there's a lot of introverts out there that would love to get out more, but they just don't know how to break out. Definitely, Ted. Well, as I said before, I actually struggle with low self-esteem really, really bad to the point that people would give me compliments and I would always throw those compliments back at them. Oh, your shoes are nice. And then I would say they're super old. I would never know how to receive a compliment. So understanding, you know, going through that phase of my life where I didn't really value myself. I didn't really understand the capabilities that I had. I didn't really see uh, my potential. And so once I got out of that mindset, and thinking, um, I believe that God started placing me in different spaces, right? Places that I never thought that I would be in, such as Miss Corporate America 2022. Also in ministry within church, uh, being a leader 
at my church and being able to fulfill certain seats and leadership roles that I never thought that I would ever be in. And so I became an extrovert, an introvert, extrovert, that's what I call it, um, by force, right? So I am an introvert, but I know how to be an extrovert when it matters. <laughs> that's awesome, because I think if it's the opposite, I'm an extrovert. I would. I don't know how to be an introvert. Um, and I that's think that's, I think that's amazing though, that you're able to do that because I think the self, especially overcoming the low self-esteem on top of all of that, uh, it's a lot, I think there's a lot of uh, men and women who are watching who think, God, I'm that person on the couch that doesn't want to go out or I'm that person that doesn't feel comfortable in a social setting. And it can be very challenging and hard for them to do the things that they want to do with their life. But you obviously have found a way to be an extroverted introvert, which is awesome. Talk, tell us about getting involved with the competition. Um, I, again, I was blessed enough, full disclosure, I was a judge on uh, this last Miss and Mrs. Corporate America um, 2022, thanks to Anissa. Tell us about that journey, because I know that it, it, people think of pa pageants, competitions, they think of it and they think it's all fluff. I can tell you being a judge that is the complete opposite of that. And it was very heartwarming war to hear all of your journeys. So what was that like for you? Because as an introvert, now you got to be on stage. you got to travel. you got to talk about stuff. You're out and about and in front of people. So what, what was the impetus behind that? Why? And then how are you finding it right now? Definitely. Um, one thing I can say is a lot of times we don't really see um, the things that we possess. We don't really see our strengths and it takes other people right on the outside looking in to really help us identify that we, we have the power to do certain things. We have the power to step into certain leadership roles. And for me, it was actually a friend of mine who I actually went to high school with, but she attends my church named Dr. Katia, who introduced me to Miss Corporate America because she ran, I believe, in 2008 or 2015 as Miss Okoe. And so, you know, she was like, Junie, I think you have what it takes. And I'm like, have what it takes? What does that mean? I, you know, and believe it or not, I'm super shy, but nobody wants to believe me. I don't know why. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't either. You got a crown on and you, you went through all of that competition, but I understand you're you're shot. You've learned, you've, you've figured out ways to overcome that, which is awesome. Definitely. And I've also learned that it's in our moment of fear and doubt that we have the most power, right? So even though I was super scared to go for Miss Corporate America, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if I could actually compete and win. Although winning, I wouldn't say that I went in there thinking that I would lose, but i didn't know if I would win, you know, the actual title, like that's major. And so why was I able to do that? Not because I'm better than any of the ladies that, you know, were in the competition because they're all phenomenal, beautiful women who are uh, definitely powerhouses in their own respect. And so for me, it was just understanding that I have something that the world needs and I have something that this competition needs. And the only thing that I can do is go out there and do my best, right? And so I gave it my best. You know, as you stated, you were a judge. And so even being in the interview process with you, with, you know, five judges in front of me, and it's just me in the room, super nervous, not knowing what questions would, you know, would be asked of me. And so I went there and I didn't try to sell necessarily a story. I just really spoke from the heart and I really spoke from Junie's perspective. And so I believe that's why I was able to win because it was personable. It was relational. Um, you know, when people heard me speak, they felt my heart. And so at the end of the day, I will tell any introvert, you know, don't doubt, you know, that you can't uh, go for a goal. Don't doubt that you don't have what it takes because you do. It's a mindset and it's a choice. It's a choice. I could have said, no, I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. And I would have missed out on an amazing opportunity to be with an amazing organization. Let's talk about the, thank you for sharing that, by the way, beautiful. What, let's talk about a little about the organization. What's your, what, what is your, what are the expectations as Ms. Corporate America 2022? What does that mean? You go out, you travel all 50 states, 75 countries. Um, <laughs> what is it that you do? 
because you obviously have a platform, you have uh, something that you're passionate about. Um, what does that look like, though, on a regular basis for you as the Ms. Corporate America 2022? Well, before Ms. Corporate America, I was already out in the community. Um, I have a nonprofit organization called For Her Perspective, which stands for Healing Effectively Revealed, where we do mentoring, community outreach, and you know we do different um, seminars and things like that to help people be engaged, help them educate themselves about what's out there and just get them thinking different, right? Because it's not based upon what we've experienced, but it's based upon a choice to push further. And so for me, my platform focuses on encouraging young girls and women to know the power of self-love and how to navigate life journey with a positive mindset to reach their highest potential. And Miss Corporate America, it's beyond beauty, right? It's more than beauty. And in Miss Corporate America, they empower corporate professionals, whether you're in business, whether you're working in corporate, uh, you know, the corporate establishments, uh, they empower us to go out there and do what we're already doing. And so, yes, it comes with a lot of amazing opportunities where I'm able to fly out to different states and, you know, uh, engage with different individuals and just continue to do an amazing work in the community. What's the long range goal for you when when uh, the crown, you always get to keep the crown, just ask Marita Brown. Um, <laughs> when it, that's over, when it's past that, what's what's the next step for you? What do you want to do? You have your nonprofit, which is amazing. That you have a nonprofit. What's the long range goal for you? What is it that you see yourself doing? Is it a ton of community advocacy? Uh, is it more work as your ministry and the church? Um, what do you see Junie Boyer doing in the next couple of years? In the next couple of years, I would love to advance um, even at a higher depth than what I'm doing now. Um, as I said, ministry for me, it's not about religion, it's not about church, but it's about serving others. And so my desire is to continue serving others in a bigger capacity, you know, whether it's through my nonprofit, whether it's through the Everything I'm Not Women's a group that I lead where we do events every quarter that pushes women to go beyond the grain, um, whether it's uh, being, you know, in collaboration and partnership with different organizations in the community. Believe it or not, I actually see myself um, running for some type of political uh, position in the future. Don't know what it is, but, um, you know, I do see myself be you know, going into that type of uh, field only because I'm a I'm a a mindset changer, um, and I love to bring positive uh, results. And so, yeah, that's that's what the future holds. Hopefully, <laughs> I love it. All right, before we head out, um, I want to ask. I try to ask every guest this question. Uh, when I say the word hero, who's the first person that comes to mind for you? It would be my grandmother. Um, my what. grandmother is my hero. She is 90 years old um, as of February this year. God bless her. She is definitely, she is an example of resilience. She's an example of dedication. She, uh, you know, has six, I believe six children, you know, that she raised on her own in Haiti. You know, my family's background is from Haiti. And so just to be able to go through everything that she's gone through, to be able to raise her kids and, you know, my father being one of them, um, allow them to be able to come into the States and make something of themselves. Like my father is a respiratory therapist, a real estate agent, a pastor. My mother is a nurse of 20 plus years. And so I say those titles not to boast, but to say that she is the reason why I'm able to say that, right? Because of her dedication and the things that she endured, she allowed my parents an opportunity in essence, allowed me an opportunity as well to just go for everything that our hearts desire. And so I'm definitely grateful for my hero, my grandmother. Beautiful and well-rounded, well said. All right, Junie Boyer, what is the best way, way for them to find out more about you, reach out to you, uh, follow your journey? How can they best find Junie Boyer all of our social media and on any kind of website, tell us. Definitely, definitely. You guys can go to Facebook if you type in Junie, J-U-N-I-E, last name B-O-Y-E-R. Also on Instagram, it is the only Junie Boyer. So the T-H-E, only Junie Boyer. Uh, that's where you guys can find me. And also if you want to follow our nonprofit platform, definitely Instagram, that's for her underscore perspective. We would love to connect with you, engage with you, and we'd love to make some changes in the community together. Beautiful. Junie, congratulations. I didn't get to say that at the competition, but congratulations. 
Uh, I think you're amazing. I love your platform. I loved your story and your journey. I'm so glad that you shared it with us. Come back anytime. Y'all get involved. Look, Judy shared that she's an introverted ex. She's an introvert who has learned how to be an extrovert. So if you're out there struggling with low self-esteem, um, here's somebody, <coughs> excuse me, who can help you at least guide you and inspire you to do what you want to do. Thank you, Junie Boyer. Thanks to Ms. Corporate America, Ms. and Mrs. Corporate America. Oh, yeah, you got to do the wave with that <laughs> crown. Come on. <laughs> right. <Yes. laughs> All right, Junie Boyer, you're a joy to have on. Thank you so much for being authentic and vulnerable with us. You guys get out, support the community efforts, and we've got one here for herperspective.com. You guys get involved. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Junie, so much. Thank you, Ted. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.